Hello and welcome to this quick webcast of data mining tools. And specifically for our data mining tool, we'll be looking at the prediction calculator. To start with, this is uh, Microsoft 2010 Excel and the data mining add-in has been added. In the sample data table, what we want to do is to analyze the table. From the analyze table, we'll be selecting the prediction calculator. The prediction calculator is a tool that we can use to try to predict a response to see where we should be investing our time or marketing resources. So what we'll do is we'll click on that and brings up a dialog box. The prediction calculator dialog box is asking a couple things. First it's saying what do you want to target? Well what we want to do is predict whether the individual will be purchasing a bike. For example this could also be um, used in our school and we could be predicting will this individual become a student? And the answer could obviously be yes or no. So let's choose to purchase a bike and say yes. We can use other columns in our analysis as well. We could use the sample data that we've captured from previous students. What we might have, have data that captures includes some elements here. But let's, for example, say we didn't ask questions on income. We didn't ask questions on home ownership. Nor did we know um, uh, uh, and we'll just go with those type of questions. And say we did know their marital status, gender, perhaps number of children, their education and their occupation. Say OK. Notice the prediction calculator will also give us an operational calculator and a printed calculator. So we'll run that and the system goes through and starts to look at the data that we had. It will use its regression algorithms to determine and generate and find patterns. Once it finds those patterns, it'll build a report for us and that particular report will help us understand various elements. We'll get three reports. The first report will be a prediction calculator report. As you look at this report, what we're trying to assess here is what are the profit and cost for our actions? So for example, let's assume that um, if it's true that this individual that we're marketing to may be sending re information, uh, may be inviting to various uh, uh, webinars, we'll become a student. So we'd say $100. Or better yet, let's just say 75 Well, what is the negative cost? If it, this individual will not become a student, or in this case purchase a bike, and what's the negative cost for us? Well, there really isn't any. We didn't invest anything, and they weren't going to become a student, so we both walked away with pretty much zero cost. Then there's other situations. For example, what if we thought they would be a student, but they really weren't? So we spent time and energy, and let's say it was $30 worth of cost and they didn't become a student. Let's say we missed somebody and had a false negative or that we missed someone that wanted to be a student and our prediction was wrong and they didn't become it. What would that negative cost be to us? And let's call it $50 because they went somewhere else. We now have our threshold that we're going to be using this threshold will help us understand and help us with our prediction. And as you can see, as you modify the various elements, the threshold cost uh, 
will be changing and we'll be getting different values uh, based on uh, what we're working with. So from there, once we have our threshold that we're trying to cross, let's go to our prediction calculator. And our prediction calculator is saying that for this example, the answer is yes, they would most likely purchase a bike. Or in our case, yes, they would become a student. And here's the various values that we said we were going to look at and capture. So let's, for example, say the individual uh, that we're talking to is under 37. Uh, they live in North America. Uh, they're a distance student, so they have to commute. Uh, they barely have one car. Their occupation right now is a um, uh, clerical, and they've earned their bachelor's degree, uh, no children, and let's say it's a female uh, who is not married. We've generated various impact scores, and we say this individual is about a 503. We specified our target was 262. So clearly this would be an individual in this example that would purchase the bike or in our example would become a student. And you can see we can change and say well it's they're married, uh, they have three kids, um, they may have two cars, and you can see that the threshold score versus the total score that was calculated so we can go in and we can modify the various elements based on uh, values that we've determined. Uh, let's call that 40. And let's call that 40 as well. So that we can work back and forwards to determine if the answer would be yes or no based on the impact of these various attributes. We also have a printable score sheet or scorecard here where you can easily see the checkboxes uh, yes um, and go through each one of the variables that we know. So this tool, this prediction calculator tool is available in Microsoft uh, Excel with the data mining add-in. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you found it useful.